guest with none other than Robert Cheek. Robert, how's it going? Phenomenal. Uh -huh. Excellent. Of course, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> I just heard Robert speak for the third time, and every oh, wow. time it just really kind of makes me reevaluate, you know, what am I doing, kind of going down my checklist of how can I refine Allie B and make her healthier and better. And I I know you're just in Toronto. You're traveling constantly. Yeah. Tell us about the Veg Fest in Toronto, because I went to school in Toronto for Stop Pilates, and I love Toronto. So. It was outstanding. First of all, Toronto is the longest running vegetarian festival in North America, 27 years. They get about 25,000 people there. It's at the Harbor Front Center downtown. I had the opportunity, very grateful for the opportunity to be on a very popular TV station with an NHL player, Mike Zigomanis. Remember that name? He's going to be the next vegan athlete poster boy. New, new e vegan, plays for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We're on TV. We brought the house down. I had a you know, capacity crowd talk. People were turned away. It was full in a beautiful auditorium. And I sold out of every book that I had, that my publisher had, that the bookstore had, and the local Canadian distributors had. And then it went to the number, number five on the Canadian bestseller list for Amazon within two categories. And I, I think it speaks volumes of the community in Toronto right. and the amount of hustle I brought to that. I've been waiting five years for that opportunity. Wow. And so I took it very seriously. And, and like I talked today, and you heard today, every yeah. talk is different. And you know, I often, um, I, I refer back to your book that you wrote, your first book. I know you're working on another book. Yeah. And yeah. today when Robert was giving his speech, we had a man in there that said, you know, Robert, you've helped me lose over 250 pounds. I've regained my health. How does that make you feel when yeah. you hear success stories like yeah, you, you almost get like emotional a little right? bit. You know, I have to like, got emotional. Yeah, you gotta like back up from it because I mean that's what you do it for. I, I mean, if I could afford to, I just give the books away. I mean, you, right. you write it to. For me, I, I want to have an impact on animals first and foremost. I want to save animal lives, reduce animal suffering, and cruelty. That's what I found most meaningful in my life. The best way to do that is to lead by example with a successful vegan athlete. And if I can get people to find what they're passionate about, I don't care what you like to do. If bowling is your thing, or if it's swimming or if it's crafts or if it's flying a helicopter I don't care but try to be the best in the world at it Absolutely. that doesn't mean best out of 7 billion people it means be the best that you can be at it you know apply yourself wholeheartedly and, and make the most of the opportunity that we wake up to we're so fortunate to wake up to every single day that's great well thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule I know you're here repping yeah. veganbodybuilding.com which I am an athlete on so thank you for that, having you me bet. on the yeah, website you, you're right up front of that yeah Thank you. So we just, we really love you and we support everything you do and anything you want to tell people really quickly at the LEB. Yeah. Uh, first of all, thank you for your support. Yes. All these different venues. Yeah. Here we're Veg Fest, Vegan Bodybuilding, yes. Forks Over Knives, Vega. I'm running like all this stuff. It's very, uh, and I'm the MC, so I got to go, like, right. as you know, yes. right now to go make yes. announcements. But, um, you know, I've got a new book coming out, currently titled Think Differently. And what I really want to do is inspire people to look at everything totally differently. I mean, to, to go home and look in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? Right. And do it. And live for seven out of seven days. Right. And why do we do what we do? Why do we spend six hours a day on Facebook when we can be pursuing <laughs> our passion? Right. Why does Netflix control our life? Why does TV, I mean, just looking at these kind of things and say, you know, what do I love to do most and why is it important and how can I contribute and give back Absolutely. and do that? So if I can get people to think differently in a way that matters on a large scale, you know, I, I, I'm pumped and I'm excited and hopefully it, it again will become a best-selling book because it will resonate I'm sure it will. I'm sure. So thank you so much. Today is your tomorrow. Thanks, Robert. You bet. There's a reason why many of us won't get fit or get healthy. There's a reason why a, a, a diet or lifestyle hasn't worked for us. And we can track it, we can measure it, we can calculate it, we can evaluate it, and determine exactly where we went right. The reason I found this out, I was a five-sport athlete, and running was the thing that I was best at. Skinny little kid, I could run pretty fast. I pursued a distance running career at the collegiate level. I ran NCAA collegiate cross country. And then I did something that I'm gonna challenge all of you to do, and that's I checked in right here. And many of you know this from my book or from listening to me talk. Growing up, I wanted to be like this He-Man he type guy. I mean, I saw this guy uh, full of enthusiasm, positive messages, great physique, full of muscle, was reaching down, lifting others up. Sure, he was a cartoon, but I thought he was pretty awesome. <laughs> and who followed him? Are you kidding me, Captain Planet? Right in line with my belief system now. I mean, this guy is helping the environment. He's helping people. He's positive. He's, you know, he's, I guess he was green. Um, you know. It, these were some of the, the, the characters, and then there were real life role models that I looked up to too. Part of it is probably growing up being the skinny kid. We always want something we don't have, but I, but I was just fascinated with that lifestyle. 
And I questioned whether I could do it. And when I became vegan, I said to my sister, you know what? Why don't I just continue to drink as much milk as possible and eat as much meat as possible? And then when I get bigger and stronger years later down the road, stop eating animal products because I love animals now. And even as a teenager in the 90s, mid-90s, she said, you know what, at the end of the day, you don't need meat, milk, and eggs, but you need the nutrition that's commonly associated with those foods. At the end of the day, we need vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fatty acids, glucose, essential fats, complete protein. Guess where those come from? In their original forms from plant-based whole foods. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, seeds, legumes, etc. Whole foods. Okay, fine. So I, so I did that. As you know, I struggled a little bit in the early, early days with my bread rolls and, and bagels and uh, 11 bagels in a day. And then, thank you. Appreciate it. And um, 18 to a in a day, too. Thank you. Um, it took me a little while to figure things out, but I did.